Let's go. Welcome to We Gonna Learn Today, where we talk about black historical figures, some of their accomplishments and accolades, and hopes to inspire you to follow your goals and aspirations by us giving you an example of someone that has traveled that road and has success doing it. That being said, our person of interest is Amir Baraka, formerly known as Leroy Jones, a renowned African-American poet, playwright, essayist, and political activist. He was born on October 7, 1934, in Newark, New Jersey. Baraka emerged as a leading figure of the Black Arts Movement, a cultural and political movement that aimed to promote and celebrate the artistic expression of African Americans and advocate for social change. Baraka's work encompassed a wide range of themes including race, identity, social justice, and African American history. He employed powerful and provocative language to confront and challenge the prevailing societal norms and inequalities. His poetry often fused elements of jazz, blues, and African rhythms, creating a unique and vibrant poetic style. Throughout his career, Baraka published numerous collections of poetry, including Preface to a 20-volume Suicide Note in 1961, The Dead Lecturer in 1964, and Trans Blue Sensi, the Selected Poetry of Amir Baraka slash Leroy Jones in 1995. His notable plays include Dutchman in 1964, which won the Obie Award for Best American Play, and The Slave in 1964, which explored the complexities of racial identity. Baraka's artistic and political pursuits were deeply intertwined he was an outspoken critic of racism, capitalism, and imperialism, and he used his platform to advocate for the rights of empowerment of African Americans. His activism led to controversy and garnered both admiration and criticism from various quarters. In the 1960s, he co-founded the Black Arts Repertory Theater. As a writer, Baraka left a lasting impact on American literature and culture. His works continue to inspire and provoke critical discussion of race, art, and social activism. He passed away on January 9th, 2014, leaving behind a legacy of artistic innovation and political engagement.